Hello, Nick Sabat from Rushmore Painting and Decorating, bringing a product review on behalf of Trade Decorators TV. The product we're going to be talking about today is the WRX Trade Ceiling Paint, which, as it says on the can, is their ceiling paint. Um, all ceiling applications, um, this is the paint you want to be using for finishing those ceilings as opposed to generic contract mats or vinyl mats or anything like that. There are specific paints for ceilings on the market and this is one of them. I'm gonna be telling you two things about this product I really like and one thing I feel could be improved. Um, before we get stuck into the review though, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like, comment. If you've had any experience with WRX trade paints before, let us know in the comment section. We'd be really happy to hear from you as it's not a paint that a lot of people are familiar with yet. Um, but anything you can do as a viewer to help boost our YouTube content would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So. I'm going to show you a little bit of footage now of the WRX tray paint, uh, ceiling paint in action um, on the job I've been doing recently. I sprayed it through my, my airless sprayer. I think I thinned it about 10-15%, um, which it recommends on the tin. And um, you'll see the application of the paint now. The finish of this ceiling, although the, the video maybe doesn't do it justice, in person is absolutely incredible. Um, I've never used the WRX paint before, and especially the ceiling paint. I never had any experience with it. I didn't know what to expect. I used it through my LS sprayer, as you saw, and I kind of jumped in at the deep end um, on, a, on an actual job, real-time job. So uh, it could have gone either way. Fortunately, it went really well, and I was really impressed with it. I used a fine finish tip on the coving because it's got slightly plasticky um, finish on it, it's not a generic plaster coving, um, so they're very non-porous, the, the porosity of it's non-existent, so I didn't want to overload that, but overall the, the coving and the ceiling finished absolutely beautifully. The first thing I really like about this paint was the application. Um, I know I only used it through the airless and I haven't had an opportunity to use it brush and roll yet, but the time I have had a chance to use it, it went on really well, the application was really, really nice. Um, and the second thing I really like about it was the overall finish. Um, I would go as far as saying, out of all the ceiling paints I've used before, and I've used quite a few, um, and they're not bad, not, you know, most of them are pretty good, but there are really good ones, and then there are just good ones, and this is probably top three of the really good ones, so I was really impressed with it, and I would definitely recommend trying it, especially if you're gonna be spraying ceilings. 
Um, it's something as I have used, I can vouch for. Um, one thing I feel maybe could be improved about it is just the size of the tins that are available. So at the moment you only get the two and a half and the fives, which is fine for domestics, but when you're a sprayer and you're maybe spraying bigger ceilings, you'll want something with a bit more volume that you can just dump the sprayer in and, and, and leave it without having to worry about you know, loading up a big bucket of fives or, or putting it in a five litre and then worrying about it running out and you know, things like that. So 10 litre tins would be a bonus. It's not a deal breaker. It's certainly not gonna stop me from using it, but if you're spraying large quantities of ceiling, just bear that in mind that the biggest you can get in at the moment is a five litre. The price for the five litre is 40 pounds and the two and a half litres is 24 pounds. Um, and uh, I believe that's pretty much standard along the lines of ceiling paints on the market um, there are some expensive like really expensive ones and then there are obviously some cheaper ones and this is kind of like the price the standard price for a ceiling paint so it's not out of whack with what's out there already um, and yeah overall really impressed with it out of 10 i genuinely can't fault the product itself apart from the fact it's not available in 10 so i'm actually going to give it a 10 out of 10 i was really impressed with it the way i used it through the sprayer it finished absolutely beautifully. As I said, I haven't used it brush and roll, so I can't comment on that. But 10 out of 10, the WRX ceiling paint, which is that. So I'd highly recommend it if you haven't already. It's definitely one to add to the list. Thank you for watching the video on behalf of Trade Decorator, uh, Decorator TV. I'm Nick Samet from Rushmore Painting Decorating. As I said at the beginning, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Anything you can do as a viewer to help boost our content would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching and see you next time.